Amazon keeps making it better and better to upload template files in Amazon. I'll tell you why in 30 seconds. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and here it is. They're now letting you have file names show up in your batch ID list in the monitor upload status section. This is a really nice and helpful thing because you wanna be able to keep track of your templates and the data control mechanisms. For example, you might load multiple versions of the same file because you're troubleshooting a parentage or a title change or something crazy, and you just wanna be able to have version control between version one, two, three, four. You still have those 73 errors in that template file, but by golly, it actually got worse on the fifth version, so you're gonna go back to version two, and you're gonna be able to keep track of all of this with the file names, which you can then re-download by the way. Now, here is the one disappointing thing. This is my actual account here in Momster. You'll notice my file name is blank on all past submissions. Unfortunately, they do not backdate these file submissions. So it's only for new files loaded moving forward, but nonetheless, really, really valuable. So you get access to this by putting your cursor over inventory, add products via upload, monitor and upload status. And this is again for anybody loading catalog template files into Amazon. Last I'll mention, have you ever backed up your data? If not, you gotta watch this video next because I talk about how to export a full copy of your keywords, your bullets, everything you need to keep track of. You need to back up your data once a month, guys, or at least every time you go load a file into Amazon. Best tip you're gonna hear all month. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Watch this video next.